between the Los Angeles Rams and the Indianapolis Colts. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough that's only going to help your defense yeah he's since being hurried he got rid of it before taking the hit but incomplete now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield a gain there of 21 yards They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 36 yards on the play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Here's Foles. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. This from 34 yards out, left hash. And his kick is good. And the points hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. In the end, the opening drive tries to yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted. But... Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Fields it right around the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Now it's Stafford. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now the first carry for Cam Akers five yards now it's third and five that second down play call was not to pick up the first down it was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down so they were behind the sticks so to speak they need to make up some ground and they did 
They'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he's going to have a Rams first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're putting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Stafford to Cup there for a Rams first down. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. He'll buy some time right. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Sometimes it's a danger putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies masked in one location. You can wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box. And there's nowhere to run the football. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He's got a man complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. And a big 32-yard play on third. They give up the middle to Akers. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second and eight. Stafford. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Slants are so tough to cover because everything happens so fast. But sometimes it happens too fast for the guy catching the ball because all of his movements have to be quick off the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden the ball's right on top of you. And maybe he got a little bit ahead of himself there. A lot of times coming in with good pace, and he dropped it. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Akers is into the end zone. Touchdown, L.A. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. 
And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal will take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Looking for Campbell downfield. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So they tried to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And this is taken in by the tight end, Bryson Hopkins. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and 10, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window takes quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford, they'll get this one to Cop complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Throwing again at Stafford. Now the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, Charles looked like that had to be a mess up there defensively. You always question that type of confusion. They actually lost it in the middle of the field, gave him all sorts of room to run, and he took big time advantage of it. That's an error you just can't make on the defensive side of the ball. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Now receiver in motion left. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the Colts pick it up. And a big turnover there. As we'll get the football back. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They'll take over after that pretty clutch force fumble as they begin inside their own five-yard line. Rolling to his right. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Under, 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 under. 
From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone, and that's a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try to buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big brand ball is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. That'll be caught. It's come. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a play fake and it's Stafford. And that'll be caught by Cobb. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. I go here! On second and ten. Stafford. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A well-executed 22-yard game. They'll run here with Akers. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. start on the ground to run that clock and he's got room there he goes left side the 20 and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half the prayer is an answer how did they get that done and with the clock at all zeros, they get the touchdown to make this just a one-score game into the lockers. And you know what else it does besides boost their confidence? It doesn't change your game plan in it. See, if they're down bigger going into the half, you may have to revise what you plan to do in the second. But now in this spot, within one score and striking distance, uh-uh, you go ahead and keep playing and do what you've worked out all week long. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this way, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try to win this ball game. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. On the give, this is Akers. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And this time, he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? <laughs> you would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Here's Riley Dixon now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. First and ten, Taylor now. Oh, good move. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. From the 38, falls. That is caught, Michael Pittman with it. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. He got 29 yards that time. They'll run here with Taylor. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chirp a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Here's Taylor again. And he takes this one in for a close touchdown. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. 
Still going past the 30. And out of bounds finally, but not before getting it way across the 50 inside the 25. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. Here's Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Van Jefferson was the intended receiver. And it's second down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down, and we go from one Matt to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Gay's kick is good, and they have regained the lead. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they score. Here he goes, right side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it went well. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Ready. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the ground. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Complete. Jefferson the target. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. A rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. And that was one that I kind of saw it coming, Charles. You had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting, and he 
saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means the free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football, as he did there. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now Foles. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Paris Campbell from 17 yards out. And the Colts get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. McLaughlin for the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12 point lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Play action, Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one even better. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, L.A. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. A big play coming now for the Rams as they'll go for two. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. Are you kidding me? Really? Are you kidding me? Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each ending in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. 
Do you stay up the attack, or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And the Rams are going offense here for the first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. From the 38, Stafford. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there. I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Grover Stewart getting in there for the sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Are the danger of a punt that good? A 16-yard return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that kicks first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Foles. That ball caught by Campbell. And he's going to here just outside of the 20. There's Foles. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. But now the Rams are going to hold things as they want a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time and his blockers clear in those lanes. Before the snap, they come for the heavy unit. Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Stafford now to throw. He's got Cooper Cup on the slant. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Stafford on first down. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again, at Stafford. Open man, he's got Jefferson across the formation. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Stafford. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And the Rams are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up for the first and goal. Stafford. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Now Stafford on third and goal. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Colts are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. Gets it up around the 22 and no further. Did show some power on the run, but not a whole lot of room. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll kick it away for the second time. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. One last throw here for Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete as time has run out this football game. Now, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. Oh, my God.